I'm at it again. Good gracious. Hello, happy people. I'm back with another video and OMG. I am at it again, okay? Young Nails, y'all keep getting me with y'all sales, okay? So, yeah, y'all. I went ahead and shopped their March sale that they had when they released the new jelly acrylic colors and I could not control myself. So I went ahead and picked those up along with some other goodies. So I'm going to just unbox this with y'all and her on camera and show you what I got. So I'm going to just hop right on to this. We not going to waste no time today. Okay. Okay. So. I'm so excited for this, you guys. So, let's see here. So, these are the items that I picked up. I only picked up a few. So, they did have their transfer foils on sale for $2. And these are like some boho slash bohemian transfer foils. So, I went ahead and picked these up. I thought they were super cute. I had seen them on the website during other sales, but they weren't quite calling to me. And I, I feel like I just keep seeing them. So, I went ahead and grabbed them. So, I picked up their boho foils. They were on sale, like I said, for $2. Okay, y'all. Two bucks. And then the other thing I picked up, I actually did end up paying full price for this, but this is their gold mission control paint. In the Black Friday box, I had received a lot of different colors and they did include a silver one, but didn't include a gold one. And so gold is like a staple when you're doing nail art. Um, but they did in the Black Friday blocks, they had the black, they had the white, they had the silver and then a couple of other colors and didn't include a gold. And so I definitely wanted to have a gold in my collection because I do really enjoy working their, with their mission control paint. So I have this now and I know it's going to be so beautiful. I saw someone swatch this in another video. And then the, the, the main reason for this haul, y'all, is these jelly acrylics. Okay, let's go. Let's see. So y'all, I am so excited about this, y'all. They had this on sale. Okay, you see it says here, Young Nails Jelly Nail Art, okay? Y'all, they had this on sale for $50 and it came with eight acrylic colors. Now, y'all know when I did my February grab bag unboxing, I was super disappointed because, you know, in the grab bag, they just included some standard stuff that I could have gotten on my own at any point in time. They had like the clear acrylic and they had like some monomer and like some glitters that I wasn't really all that impressed with and so I was disappointed in that and I and I said in that video that um you know I wish I had to just spend my money on some more of their colored acrylics because that's what I really want to build my collection around and when I saw they had the sale y'all I had to hop on it it's such a great deal I love working with their acrylics so let's get these unboxed and show y'all what they looking like yes okay oh, I'm so excited for this y'all we got eight colored acrylics okay eight of them from Young Nails let's go so these are all of the eight acrylics that came in the bundle. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you all what they look like in the container. And then we're gonna go through and swatch all of these, y'all, because I'm so excited to have these. I'm so excited to add more of the Young Nails colored acrylics to my collection like you don't even know. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and just open this up here. So yeah, I'm gonna go through and break the seal on all of them first, and then we'll go through and I'll show you the colors and then do the swatches of them. Okay, so all of them have been, all the seals have been broken. I'm gonna go through and show you each color individually. Individually, So we have Blueberry Jelly, okay. Let's see what this color is looking like. Oh my goodness, yeah. So this is a beautiful shimmery blue color, like a light blue color. That's really pretty, okay. Next we have Orange Jelly, okay. Wow. That's a really pretty orange. Okay. Lovely. I love that. Oops. I love that. Next we have honeydew jelly. It's a green. Okay. This is a really cute like pastel green color here. Okay. Next we have vintage grape jelly. Oh wow. This is nice, really pretty, kind of like lavender, kind of pastel purple color here. Next we have strawberry jelly which when they swatched this on their live this looked amazing oh my goodness look at this really beautiful color here okay 
Young Nails coming through this year. All right, Young Nails, y'all must have listened to my last video and saw and heard me, okay? We got Cloudberry Jelly here, which is another blue, okay? I think this is a slightly deeper blue. Okay, yeah, Blueberry Jelly and Cloudberry Jelly. Let's look at those side by side. Okay. Okay, yeah, one's more of a lighter blue and then the other one is more of a deeper blue, okay? So that's really pretty. And then next we have here Lemon Jelly. Okay, so this must be the yellow. Ooh. Really pretty, vibrant, kind of light yellow color here. And then the last color that came in this collection is the Cuddle Fruit Jelly. What's this look like? Oh, this is that color. I thought the strawberry one was it. This is that really beautiful kind of pink, almost reddish color that they swatched on the live and it was absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, so this is everything that I hauled y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into these swatches because I wanna see what these colors are looking like. I do have my Young Nails Monomer here, so I'll be using that. Also have my Dappin' Dish along with my little acrylic brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Monomer in here. I think this should be enough to swatch everything. I'm gonna start with the first color here. The first color I have is the Strawberry Jelly. And I'm gonna be using some new swatch sticks that I got. These are some coffin shaped swatch sticks. I'm super excited to be using these too. I got these because it gives me more of a surface area to be able to practice my acrylic swatches on so I'm gonna hop right on into this y'all I just really love working with Young Nails acrylics. Like, when I say they're so easy to work with, like, they're like butter, okay? Like butter. Okay, so that's the first color swatched here. That is really pretty. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more, actually. Let me build it up a little bit. Okay, so I just had to build it up a little bit, but that is beautiful, is it not? Y'all see this color? That is stunning. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the next color here. Okay, so that was Strawberry Jelly. The next color I'm gonna be swatching here is Orange Jelly, okay? And I just wanna remind you guys that I am a beginner when it comes to acrylics, so I am wanting to keep a lot of this footage in in real time so that I can just kinda come back and look at my progress when it comes to acrylic and um, laying the acrylic. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch orange jelly for you guys. 
Yeah, I really enjoy working with the Young Nails Acrylics though. Like they're so easy to work with. It makes me feel like I know what I'm, it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing as a beginner, even though I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. These colors are really pretty. I'm excited for this collection. I'm excited that they brought the jelly acrylics back and I'm also excited that they're keeping them permanently in the line because um, one of my complaints with Young Nails is it's great of, as, as much as I love their acrylics and a lot of their products, I just, I, I'm always sad at the fact that they are very limited when it comes to their color selection. And so I'm happy to see them like expanding and kind of step it out and adding more um, products to their line. So yeah, y'all, I'm excited for that. But y'all see how easy this stuff lay? I mean, it lays like butter, okay? Like butter. Love it. So I'm gonna go in and try to get this cuticle area going. A little cuticle bead. Let's see. Like so. This stuff is really easy to work with. It looks a little splotchy, so I'm gonna go ahead and give another pass through all over the nail just to build the opacity here. Okay. These acrylics lay beautifully. Okay, so that is orange jelly. Next we have honeydew jelly. I think I picked up two dry a bead on that one. I kind of let it sit for a while. if it's me or does it seem like this green might be setting a little bit quicker. I think my brush was in it. Let's see. Huh. I don't know what's up with this green. This green is behaving differently for me. I'm not really sure why. Is it me or is it my brush? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, this green is behaving kind of weird. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I didn't do that with the other colors. Okay, that's better.
So these are jelly acrylics, right? So I'm just building up the opacity so I can really get what the true color looks like. But I think they're meant to be kind of transparent, translucent. But I'm just building up the opacity of it because that's how I would actually wear it on my nail, you know? So, so this is the honeydew jelly. I'm gonna move on to the next color here. Next we have cloudberry jelly. And this is a beautiful light blue color. Oh, okay, so Cloudberry makes sense. I understand the name now, gotcha. See what you're doing, Young Nails, I see. Yeah, I still feel like that green behaved a little bit differently and I'm not 100% sure why, but it seemed like that green was a little bit, it was on the drier side, so I don't know if maybe there was a different formula they used for the green, but you see, I feel like the blue is picking up like all the other colors were, so. Yeah, not really sure what that was about, but we're gonna continue on swatching here. The interesting thing about these jelly acrylics is you can really see exactly where you set your bead down at, you know? Like there's there's like a distinct look. I guess that's where like, I guess some of the pigment and the clear, however the acrylic is mixed. You can kind of see how it like separates a little bit. Not that it's a bad thing, right? It's just that, cause it's a jelly acrylic. So it's just a little bit different to work with. It's supposed to, it's meant to be translucent so you can see through it but I'm building up the opacity because if I wear these colors I want to wear them as, as opaque as I can get them I don't really want to wear them as jellies but it is nice to have the option to do so you know All right, so that was Cloudberry. The next color we have here is Lemon Jelly, which is that yellow, super excited about that. Y'all know yellow, my favorite color. Just, just give me like five minutes. Give me five minutes.
Next, I am going in with Cuddle Fruit Jelly. So that's the next color in the collection here. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay. So let's see how this swatches. Yeah, that's pretty. This is really pretty, holy smokes. I feel like this is probably the most opaque out of the jelly colors that they, in this collection. This is really pretty. Wow, I'm, this makes me wanna use this color right now. This acrylic is so beautiful to work with. I really enjoy working with this acrylic. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. All right, so that was Cuddle Fruit, I think. And then we got two more colors to swatch for y'all. I am absolutely in love with this collection. Like, wow, Young Nails did good with this one. I'm, I'm very, very satisfied with this. So next we have the Vintage Grape. Seems like this grape is going to be similar to the green. Yeah, I think the grape is going to be similar to that green that I worked with where it's just, I don't know, it's slightly of a different consistency and I'm not really sure why. It's interesting. I didn't experience that with any of the other colors though, so I'm not really sure what that is, but we're going we gonna to keep moving along here, okay?
It seems like with the grape and the green color, you almost kind of got to work with it a little bit wetter. Then the other ones. And then the last color in the collection that we have here that we'll be swatching is the blueberry jelly. And this is that really nice light blue color. Okay. Yeah, these just set differently. Um, the blue is like the rest of the colors in the collection. So the entire collection has been swatched, y'all. I am loving these colors. So let me go through and show you all each color up close. So the first color we have here is the Strawberry Jelly. So that's what this color looks like. It's a nice light jelly pink color that has really beautiful hollow glitters in them. Do you guys see these sparkles? I love it. So that is Strawberry Jelly. The next one is Orange Jelly. So this kind of reminds me of like an, like an orange sickle or like a cream sickle. Y'all know those lifesavers, the orange cream lifesavers? That's what this reminds me of. It is really pretty and I also love the shimmer in this as well. Like these, these acrylic powders are really, really beautiful. Next we have the honeydew jelly, which is a nice uh, green jelly color. Now I swatched these kind of opaque, so I don't think you'll be able to see through the nail like they're intended to be. Um, if I do use these, I will build up the opacity on them because I want to use them as colored acrylics. I don't really want them to be too transparent, but look at how pretty this is, y'all. Like, this is absolutely gorge. Yes, okay. And then next we have Cloudberry Jelly, which is this really um, deeper blue. Um, at least deeper according to the other blue that's in the collection, but it's a nice uh, deep blue color here. Kind of slightly royal blue. Ah, look at the shine. Look at the shimmer. I love it. Next we have Lemon Jelly. So it's a nice light yellow shimmer jelly color here. Really, really beautiful. Love this too. Next one we have here is the Cuddle Fruit Jelly. That's a really cute name for this, but that's how this looks swatched. I like this. It's kind of a... a a deep pink, almost red looking color. Really like this as well. Next we have the Vintage Grape Jelly. So this, like I said earlier, is a nice like light purple, um, kind of lavender looking purple color. 
with that shimmer in it, really beautiful. And then the last one we have here is the blueberry jelly. So that's kind of like that light blue um, with the shimmer in it. So yeah, y'all, overall, I am very, very happy and satisfied with this collection. So this is everything that I picked up in this Young Nails haul. Primarily, I wanted to focus on the jelly collection that they recently released. And I am just really excited to have these acrylic powders in my collection. Um, the only thing I can say is that the two that swatched kind of weird was the um honeydew color and the vintage grape color for some reason those seem like they set a little bit faster so i'm not really sure why but the rest of the colors they swatch beautifully um they're all easy to work with y'all know i love me some young males acrylic powders so i was super thrilled and super excited that they released these this is what i've been waiting for this is what i've been looking for from young nails for them to come out with some new colors and just you know try some new things when it comes to their acrylic powders so i'm hoping to see even more like this from them this year Year. Um, if they continue to release some new interesting unique colors and things like that I'll continue to try to shop their sales because so far I think every single time they've had a sale I bought something um, because I really just enjoy their products I enjoy the company and so yeah I'm excited to have these in my collection y'all low-key this is what I was looking for when I got my February grab bag I just wanted something new exciting and different and these colors did not disappoint so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video let me know what's your favorite color from the collection I think my favorite color has to be this color here. I didn't forgot what it's called. I think my favorite color from the collection is Cuddle Fruit and the Cloudberry. Yeah, I think those are my favorite too. Cuddle, Cuddle Fruit and the Cloudberry. So this uh, deeper pink and this deeper, um, the deeper pink and deeper blue color here. I also really like the yellow color too, cause you know, yellow my favorite color. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed these acrylic swatches. Um, again, I am a beginner to uh, swatching acrylic. So I wanted to leave most of that footage in in real time just so that you all can kind of see my process and so that I can come back and look at where I started when it came to acrylics. And so yeah, that's why I left the swatches in in real time. I hope it was as helpful for you all as it was for me because like I said I I really enjoy watching people swatch acrylics because again I'm a beginner so I'm learning but y'all I'm actually thinking about you know some boho nails with these um, foils and maybe even some of these jellies so yeah we're gonna see we're gonna put some of these products to use here soon but let me know what you all's favorite colors are um, and then also to for the looks on my hands, I do have full tutorials for these looks. Link down in the description box. This here is an Easter set that I did. Really love this color. I did the Lazy Girl Poly Gel method on this hand. On this hand, I did the Gelex Dupe method. And I used Madam Glam um, gel polishes. So if y'all want to see full tutorials on these, I will leave it linked down in the description box. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye